The poem Mistress by K. K. N. Dharwala is an interesting poem about the English language as it has developed in India. Dharwala has evidently written this poem because of a common feeling among the well-educated Indians that the Indian poets should not write poetry through the medium of the English language because it is a foreign language and because true poetry can be written only in one's native language. In fact, there has been a regular controversy and a heated debate among the English-knowing people in India regarding the suitability of the English language as a medium for the writing of poetry by the Indians. Fortunately, English is now well established in this country as a medium for the writing of poetry by the Indians. And this kind of poetry has come to be known as Indo-Anglian poetry, with the writers of this kind of poetry being known as Indo-Anglian poets. Dharwala is himself an Indo-Anglian poet, and he has here written a satirical poem with regard to the language which he himself employs in the writing of his poems, and he is surely one of the leading Indo-Anglian poets. Dharuwala jokingly assigns to the English language as spoken and as written in this country the label my mistress and he says that his mistress comes from a family in which the blood of several races and religions has mingled and to which babus and professors of English have also made their contributions, one night contributions as he puts it. His mistress says Dharuwala can easily be recognized by the way in which she speaks her consonants. She speaks the consonants in such a manner that he feels as if she had given him a severe blow. Her jargon and her latest slang are available in the dictionaries. And she speaks as if she had tried to sob but been prevented from doing so by some impediment in her throat. In the mornings, her mouth feels sore because of the dreams which had been brewing in her head during the night. His love for her survives from night to night even though he has to toil hard to continue loving her. People recognize her even in the streets and they hiss at her in disapproval at the way she behaves. Despite all this, his mistress Dharwala goes on to say is a showy type of person who wears cheap but gaudy jewellery. She wears imitation jewellery and she wears high heels even though her feet are covered with henna up to the ankles. As for food, she does not stick to the ordinary common dish which is made from potatoes. She is westernized in her tastes and asks for roasted meat and grilled pomfrets. She makes no reference at all to the intoxicating drink which her father used to extract from cashew nuts. She is not Anglo-Indian, says Dharuwala. If the Demalos were to come to know about her, they would deal with him very severely. She is not Goan nor a Christian from Syria. She is Indian English, which is a language that Dharuwala himself makes use of.